Ashish Nandi, the Prime Minister, uh, congratulating uh, Venkatraman Ramakrishnan, said it's a matter of pride for India that a brilliant scientist who has gained the highest international recognition should have done most of his education in India. And it's a tribute to the educational system in the country and the dedication of the teaching community here. Is that accurate? No. Because he hasn't actually done most of his education here. No, you're absolutely right. He hasn't. Uh, but the important part of the story is this, that even in disciplines for which Nobel Prize is given and which does not require expensive materials or laboratory facilities, mm -hmm. even there we haven't done that that well. And, 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 and Ranjit Nair, why is that? Is that because of lack of funds? Is it because of lack of laboratories? When is the Indian Institute of Science or when is the MS University going to produce a Nobel laureate? Uh, well, I, I don't think there is anything intrinsically wrong with uh, Indian institutions. Um, but however, you know, one must make the point that we do not have the kind of scale that is required in order to produce, you know, mm -hmm. outstanding people. You know, if it's one in a million, then you have to have several, you know, you have to have a large number of institutions. And if you look at the United States, if you look at Europe and so on, mm -hmm. you know, there, there are so many of them. And, um, it is and also, is, is, this, is this a problem also peculiar to the scientist? You know, is 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 is, uh, is scholarship and and, 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 and and education dominated by the social scientists? You know, the historians and the sociologists, and, and the scientists don't get the kind of recognition that they should. No, it's not really that. If you ask me, I don't think uh, England has that many universities. Uh, I don't think Ranjit is very right there. Uh, what I would like to point out is this: that somehow or other, uh, one of the crucial features of a good university is missing in India. However well they might be in producing information technologists and engineers right. of um, some certain caliber. Namely, that the great universities are always faculty driven, not driven by politicians and bureaucrats, nor even driven by vice chancellors appointed by state governments. Mm -hmm. And I suspect that this creates an university atmosphere where certain kinds of risk taking and initiative is just not possible. Just not possible. That's that's uh, Jaitan Bhagat, when you were at the IIT, did you feel that in, there was anyone among your colleagues who wanted to go into pure science and explore the adventure of science and do what these guys are doing, which is changing the world? I mean, they're finding you know d different different uh, you know ways to explore DNA. Or did you feel that most people wanted to get that IIT degree and get a job and start earning? I was one of the people who first went to IIT thinking I'll become a really creative scientist or mm -hmm. something. But all it was was just get in by studying a lot and go in and study a lot more. Mm -hmm. And you just keep preparing for exams and assignments. I mean, I love my college, but, you know, we just don't have the culture of creativity and innovation. Take our IT sector. We call ourselves a big IT sector, but it's all body shopping firms. Right. We don't have one Facebook created. We don't have one Twitter created. Nothing like that, which doesn't require mm -hmm. a lot of capital. We just don't encourage innovation and creativity. That's, That's one right. thing. And, uh, exactly. you know, in IIT... So, we're, we're kind of... Ranjit Nair, why is that? I mean, you're someone who's a real believer in science and the, and the purity of science. Why don't we encourage an interest in pure well, science? Uh, well, uh, actually, you know, I, I think, um, I mean, culturally, we are very much attuned to science. Like, um, you know, if you go back to the, uh, to the oldest texts and so on. I mean, as a culture, mm -hmm. uh, we have believed in the importance of knowledge. And knowledge was what li liberated. So we did not have this um, tension between, you know, knowledge and faith that was characteristic. Yeah, I mean, the, the overwhelming society. majority of our Nobel laureates mm. are Tamil Brahmins. Well, I, I, They're I all Tamil Brahmins, yeah. in well, fact. C.B. Raman, S. Chandrasekhar, Venkat Raman, Ramakrishnan. Well, uh, you know, I mean, um, the fact is that mm. the, the capital of Indian science used to be Calcutta. Right. But when, um, you know, Raman was thrown out of Calcutta, you know, the uh -huh. election in the, uh, in the Indian right. Association for the Cultivation of Science was gerrymandered. He went to Bangalore and then the, the, the center of gravity of science shifted to Bangalore mm -hmm. because he was the outstanding person of his time and he had actually mentored this whole right. group in, in Calcutta, the Calcutta School of Physics. And he, he did all his, his work, you know. Uh, but somehow or the genius. other, there isn't that, but the, but the excitement of science, I mean, the excitement of working a, in a lab or, I'll give you a, real or example. a laboratory producing those kind of scientists, that is just not No, there. I'll give you my real example. We, I remember in college, I won this prestigious, along with two other students, Summer Undergraduate Research Award, mm -hmm. okay?